Okay, so we can use the controller. All right, let's go. You guys ready? Her children, one and all. We'll make for the lift at the center of this chamber. Come. Or she would go and do dailies first, guys. What do you think? Yeah, dailies first. Dailies, please. Dailies after stalling, yeah. Guys, you can't just agree with the stalling. Okay, I did not expect you guys to be so positive about dailies. I was joking! We're committing now. <laughs> Is streaming going to participate in normal raids after she's caught up? Yeah, of course. We will do all the raids too. Can I get mod for 30 seconds? <laughs> Are there fish in dailies? No fish. As you all know, alongside our physical world exists an ethereal plane. What we refer to as the ethereal sea. At the heart of a star, the physical and ethereal are one and the same. Thus, the deeper we go, the easier it becomes to pass between said planes. We utilize this principle in constructing the anti-tower. And once more here in Thomasane. Oh, wait, we're going to talk to Heidelin, aren't we? Oh, this is, this is huge. No sooner did the forum decide that an exodus from the star would be necessary than it began work on this facility. Our work culminated in a device that allowed us to peer deeper into the ethereal sea than ever before, in search of Hydland's ever fainter echoes. I have a question. You know how we have the enchantment from Hydland? Like, we have the echo and stuff, right? When did we get that? Do we know when we got that? I might have an answer, yeah. We had it from the start. Yeah, but what does start mean? Like, did we... Do we know the moment we got it? Start of the game. Did we just, like, wake up and we already had it? Or did it... Did it... Be... Like, was it given to us there? Basically, because I'm wondering why... Because I'm wondering uh, something that I think could have been cool. Is when we went back in the past and we did all this stuff, meeting Hermes and stuff like that. And then me and Venna, you know, are the only ones with our memories left. Then I felt like it would have been a very fitting moment for her to there and then give us the enchantment. Because that would give us that whole bootstrap... Paradox thing. Where if we didn't go back in the past, we wouldn't have the enchantment. And we had the enchantment, so that means like we were expected to go to the past, etc, etc. You know what I mean? I think that could have been cool. But I don't know if that would have been game-breaking because maybe we got it a different way. We already had it though. Yeah, I guess it's a bit weird. How is she supposed to give it to us if we already have it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, then it wouldn't really make sense. Okay, yeah. Time traveling stuff is interesting. We wouldn't be alive to go back to the past if we didn't have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What level are you in the game? Uh, I'm level 89. Venat also isn't exactly Hydlin. No, that's true. That's true. What came first, Hydlin or the egg? <laughs> okay. Our work culminated in a device that allowed us to peer deeper into the ethereal sea than ever before. In search of Hydlin's ever fainter echoes. The Itascope. And you communicate with her through this device? For a time, yes, but since the seventh umbral calamity, it's been rare to hear even a whisper. If you wish to hear her, if you wish to reach her, 
You must journey closer to the center of the star than we have ever dared, beyond the itoscope. Ever so, I make no guarantee that you'll find her, nor of your safety, not so deep in the ethereal sea. We understand, but if we are to deliver this world, we have no choice but to try. She's the only one who knows where Meteon is, so we have to. Because Meteon could be anywhere. The universe is massive. I know. I only wish we could do more than observe your progress from afar. The Ithoscope's ocular lens by which we may peer into the ethereal sea without placing ourselves at hazard lies above us. Through it, we can watch and guide you. In those swirling depths, there are pockets of ether so dense and turbulent that they can unravel one's soul. If we determine that you're at risk of coming into contact with such a pocket, we will recall you with teleportation magics. Unravel one's soul. To that end, it would be best if one familiar with the composition of your souls remained here to assist in assessing said risk. Otherwise, there is an increased probability that we will extract you too early or too late. Please allow me. I have thought upon this much, and in truth, I do not believe that I am fit to join you in the trials ahead. The events at the Tower of Babil drained me, yes, but even before that, your capabilities far outstripped my own. This is no time to have a weak link in our vanguard, no matter how much she wish it were otherwise. If I assist in the manner that Master Fortunat has laid out, however, I may still be of use. Will you trust in me to do so? I can think of none I trust more, compared to all the effort you put into keeping us alive while our souls were in the first, preventing us from dissolving into ether in a single expedition ought to pose no challenge at all. And even if we did, I expect you would hunt us down and restore us to health somehow. You flatter me, but rest assured that I will keep that I will be keeping a close eye on all of you. Oh, I forgot to fix my glam! There is one more thing. Those in the ages past refer to Ethereal Sea as the Underworld, our final resting place. In its embrace is memory washed away, leaving only the purity of one's soul, or so we believe. Yet what of these memories? Few think to ask what comes of them, cast adrift on ethereal ties. Some theorize that they linger for some time, those associated with strong sentiments in particular. I look so trash. In those depths, memories of the departed may even coalesce around you, for hatred or for love. Thus do I caution you to be wary, but also to have faith. Remember those who did gladly extend a hand to you, that they may lift you up once more. Alright. Oh! Oh, okay, it's a duty! See, little things like this is like, oh, is that, okay, um, I'm really glad that even the smallest things like that, if someone had spoiled, it's not that big of a deal, but it's still like, oh, cool. Uh, okay, should we do a, um, pre-made? So it's a dungeon. I thought I was gonna walk down there. Pre-made or I just queue up? I think we just queue up, right? Then you can try to snipe me. Pre-made? Yeah, people snipe anyways. I mean, I guess I could pre-made with a DPS. Mm -mm -mm. Not fixing glam? Oh, that's true. This is important. I don't think I can fix it here. Uh, Lady Caridwin, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, I I'll, I'll queue up. I'll queue up. But I need to first, um... Okay, sorry guys. Sorry guys. Arena is good. Yeah, but like the boots and stuff were broken. So it was weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for like baiting before. I stayed in queue this whole time, you still had to pop before me, even after you uncued and re-queued. What is this shit? 
Wait, when you queue as a DPS, do I get priority because I'm on the quest, maybe? Is that what it is? Because if you queued before me, how, how did I get popped before you? Yeah, because I've never done it. I think it might be... Uh, yeah, it might be prioritizing me because I haven't done it yet. That, that's the only explanation. The lens, and I trust you can hear me. Trust you can hear me. Those things are pure malcontent. The residue of lives unfulfilled. The thing is, when I looked at my portrait yesterday, it actually looked good. But now it's back to basic. I don't know what happened. You need to redo every time you change glam? Seriously? That's kind of cray cray. You resave? Oh, do you have like. Okay. Do you have it like. Um, pre planned? Cast the wrong thing. Adding a single material to gear will reset the portrait. How do you reach the portrait? Let's say hi to the person in chat. Oh yeah, that's true. Chat, why, why are you so rude? Why, why do you not say hi to people in the chat? Like, just because you're pre-made, it doesn't mean that you need to leave out the, the, the other guy. What did he do? better than us because you have a little sprout on you Wait, where's my actual sprout i'm actually so happy i got my sprout back oh yeah we put bgm 50 right bgm here I'll put it higher now They all died. Nice. What was that? Scions. No, it's gone. I was reading that. This place is cool. Very cool. Uh, okay. Um... Party. Hey, there we go. See, I said hi. Are we invisible? Oh, 
I'll try to pace myself with this so you can observe more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Make sure to read the text that pops up in this place. The text? Okay. You cannot take this from me. Never will I surround my devotion. My love. Livia the Undeterred. I don't think I know Olivia. Why are you guys looting? Oh, wait, I do know Livia? Who is Livia? Oh, an ARR? Oh, I'm not gonna remember names from ARR. Just from a long time ago. That's pretty cool, though. Blast from the past. Oh, that was fast. Whoa. I guess I have to know beforehand that it's coming. Do a melee combo. I was to see a sister? Really? This, we got this. One, two, three, four, five. Ver fire. Nice, we did it. Ether. It will guide you. I think I probably need that. Um. The ether is too dense. Oh, I'm losing you. What? Don't lose me. Okay, let's go here. Recommended gear has been equipped. Ooh, cool. Huh, that's awesome. This also reminds me a little bit of that scene in Baldur's Gate 3. Lately, I've been getting, I've been getting a few, a few vibes. Hello there, I heard from a friend that you're quite the unique streamer and I do have an interest of in following games that are uh, achieved- No, following gamers that has achieved unusual feats in their games. Well, cool and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Mm 
Knight's memory. In Russia, familiar with the light, the memory of a kind hearted knight. <gasps> That's why you told me to read stuff. That was his sword and shield, wasn't it? Yes, the mile better suits a hero. That's cool. It's a nice little... What do you call it? A reference, I guess. A little memoir. Homage. Is homage the correct word? Treasure chest. Of healing, yeah, we don't need healing. The first one was Papalima, second was Membrida. No, no, that means I missed two of them. That's a shame. We already had a perfectly fine homage to Membrida when we met her parents. Yeah, that's true. That that was a really nice scene. Oh, this is another ARR boss? That's really cool. Walking down memory lane. Wait, where, where do we go? Oh, cool. Cool. And do a melee combo again. Got this. What? Oh, pressing the wrong button. Combo. Nice. Lord Von Belzar. Again, I fail you. 
This is not my class, so we're gonna greed. This place is really cool. Whoa! We're swimming! Cool! Okay, okay. Yeah, we're swimming in the ethereal sea. Wait, are we considered to be in the ethereal sea right now? Maybe not. Maybe we're just deep inside. Yes, it is actually. Kinda. Okay. I wasn't sure. I know we're very deep inside, but I don't know if it's like possible to be actually in it. All the tacky helping you are the actual souls of the dead peeps. Minfilia spirit. See, this is why I wanted to wear her outfit too, but it didn't work. It did not work. Did it say one slot remaining? Oh no. Oh no. Not good. Okay, let's do some AOE. One, two, three, four, five. How's my image so bad? I don't know, actually. I don't know what happened. But I can desynthesize some of these. Can I do it while I'm in here? No. I need to do it when I'm out of here. All the random books and crafting items. Do I have random books and crafting items? They're not random books. I need to learn the blacksmithing, but I need higher level to, to learn it. Oh, is it final boss time? So, final boss time! So, it's Stop it. Is as far as you go. Cool. Oblivion beckons. Cool looking boss. Wait, I'm on the undying. <laughs> Wait, third friend Daniel fight? That's actually true. Cool. It's a different form. Many faces have I worn, but this 
is my favorite by far. Really? It's your favorite now, huh? You will persist in this folly no longer. Ouch. Oh, I get it now. I, I didn't the see it. It was a bit dark. to a melee combo. Okay, get that. Maybe we can do this and do a melee combo again. Let the curtains rise for the main attraction! Uh, skills, clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Zero slots remaining in inventory, whoops. And level up? Come here. Lies. Oh, lies. Your dreams, your hopes, your futures. Delusions and lies. Did I see who showed up to make the ice pop? No, I missed that. I should have played Pictomancer in here with the XP from the dungeon. Is my red mage max level now? Shiva made the ice. Oh, I missed that. Shiva was there? It was Arthas? Right. Oh, it's okay. Level 90 is not actually max, so I keep getting XP. So that, that that's okay, I guess.
Wait, I have a triple triad card. Amanda Undying. Wait! I got it from this? Cool! Is it guaranteed or was I lucky? It's rare? What if my inventory was full? That's crazy. Commendation, true, 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 true. All right, guys, do we give it to Zayas or Wardrick? Chat decides, this is a democracy. This is a democracy. Who gets it? Wardrick? DPS? DPS is not here. Zayas? Zayas is already mentor? Healer? All right, fine, let's, let's, let's do it to Wardrick then. I didn't kill you this time. That's true, actually. That's a good reason to give you commendation. He did not try to kill me. Yeah, lucky I had a backspace for it. I need to fix my backspace after this. Do we get to talk to her now? Do we get to talk to her now? Thank you, Get Matt, for the three yeah. months. My very essence begins to wane. Sweet, sweet agony. Leave this to her. Come to deal the coup de gras. Oh, I need to press. Let's see. Good. <laughs> Watching you struggle against the inevitable is bad comedy. Erase me from existence, soul and all. Have you any memories of Meteon? Do you recall your days as Hermes? How would you know that name? Oh, I explained to him that we met in the past. Then it was you, in Elpis, with Emmett Suck. <laughs> in Elpis, yeah. The final pieces fall into place. <laughs> in my halcyon days, as the mortal Amon, I was haunted by a dream. Night after night, the faceless multitude the voiceless cries, shards of shattered memories. But slowly, the fog began to clear. This was Alpis. And I, I was Hermes. Recurring though it was, I paid this dream little heed. It was only when I was granted the seat and memories of Fan Daniel that I knew these visions to be true. They were the memories of Hermes that he himself erased using the power of Kairos. Hmm. Or so he thought. In his attempt to burn away the events of that fateful day, he succeeded so this version of him the remembers the memories soul. that he deleted. Death failed to expunge them. 
No matter how many times it came, rebirth after rebirth, from one Van Daniel to the next. Hmm. I wonder, is Emmet Selk adrift somewhere in this ethereal sea? In defeat, finally remembering your time together in Elpis. How it must gall him to be entrusted with knowledge of the final days, only to be rendered powerless to act upon it. So many lifetimes dedicated to restoring his beloved Amaroth in blissful ignorance. Oh, folly. Yeah, that was actually quite sad. But make no if mistake. If only he had known. My life as Hermes is not the reason I invited the world's end. I have lived. I have struggled. I have dredged the very depths of despair. And in the detritus of existence, I found the truth. Did he find the answer? I served a great ruler. Powerful beyond measure. The world, his dominion. Yet even he and his vast empire were destined to fall. To become one with oblivion. At the end of life's journey lies only death. So I ask you, why live at all? We betray. We torment. We murder. We are wicked, spiteful creatures, without exception. If life is so sacred, so precious, why fill it with such misery? True. Man wallows in a hell of his own making without purpose or meaning. To live is to suffer. And I would end that suffering by my own hand. It matters not if it flies in the face of all believed right and just. Death is the only solution. That is my truth, my answer to the question. And yet, even as the words pass my lips, I am filled with doubt. Has my search reached its end? Has it? Was this the only way? After all these years. After all these years. Is this the answer I was hoping for? The lamentations mm -hmm. of the damned. How it vexes me to see your conviction falter at the last. Van Dandt, still clinging to existence, I see. No, no, don't, don't skip. There we go. You, you, who champion death so fervently. Unwilling to accept your own, refusing to be purified and swept into the sea of souls. Skip. No, that was a misclick. We don't want to skip. We don't want to skip. We prisoners to men, watching as the world turns. Though unlike me, you will be spared the ignorance of having your corpse made a puppet. Dance to another's tune. Is that Asahi? Asahi? Why do I recognize the name? Who is 
Asahi. Oh! Oh, he was, he was crazy, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 Fen Fen Daniel's original character. I remember, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very crazy, very fitting for Fen Daniel to take his body. I have not come to consort with the likes of you. Um. Okay. The least crazy Xenos enjoyer. Okay, I need to like put this together now, like the pu the puzzle pieces. Um. Is this just him as a real human character in this ethereal sea? Like, is this just Asahi or is it something complicated? It's just him as himself. It's his soul, original soul. Okay. Cool. Nor have I come to bemoan the state of the world following my untimely demise. In fact, I delight in mankind's downfall and the anguish it brings the savior of the savages. If I played some small part in the chaos, all the better. Not that I was in any position to resist. Yeah, this is the original but soul. To made accomplice to the betrayal of Lord Xenos. <laughs> Lord Xenos. I would Zenos. die a thousand deaths to exact my vengeance. Oh God. Uh-huh. Lord Cenos. you are at my mercy. I shall drag us both into oblivion, and you will never see the fulfillment of your magnum opus. Is it just me, or does he sound a little bit like Emmett? Even should you be reborn, your desperate search for answers must start again. Must start again. You're simping even in death. <laughs> hmm. I'll do what must be done. Dot dot dot. Next time we'll find the answer together. Next time we'll find the answer together. Even here. Even now. Even now. Seeing a Lala ruins this, excuse me? No, it doesn't. You have every right to hate me. For the fool I was. For the monster I became. Oh, confessions. But I will not beg forgiveness. A tale of Hermes, the man who knew so much, yet understood so little, ends here. It's kind of crazy to take part in the full arcs. Of these Don't villains too. To follow me. Like knowing Finn Daniel to I the part of his Hermes history. Than I could stomach in life. Never mind in death. <laughs> Likewise. He is still such I an pray asshole. We do not meet again. Uh huh. <laughs> you had better hope not. Hermes, ar architect of the final days after seeing Annie's Lala. This is not true. You are so toxic. Unbelievable. Do, 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 do. Come. Hydalin is waiting. Hydalin is waiting. 
It's time! First time you fight him, but was back in your as well. Take me. It's kind of wild how they tied all these pieces together. Yeah, I really like how everything has been tied together. I really like how everything has been tied together. I really like that we know so much about the villain's history as well. Humanizing them a little bit, in a way. It's time. Oh, it's like we're kind of like back to the beginning of time. Brave the crystals. I welcome you. Ooh. You look different. We meet again, Vinette. We meet again. We're friends now. We're besties. <sighs> I see. Thou didst journey unto Elpis. And now, the rivers of time converge. Okay, so why did you lie to me, huh? Why do you tell me? Why'd you keep this a secret? Making I me waste time. Have come. Yet I would hear you speak your reasons all the same. Okay. Okay. You created the moon to deliver mankind from the final days. Mm -hmm. And why would you do that when you know that the final days can be stopped by simply finding Meteon? But is that really how it has to end? Mm -hmm. We do not wish to abandon this world. Mm -hmm. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. Mm -hmm. To flee is but one of two paths. Mm -hmm. And why did you only tell us of one path? The other leadeth to Meteon, mm -hmm. far beyond the stars, where she doth chant creation's requiem. Really? Okay. Her domain is formed of dynamis, pure, absolute, where emotion and memory govern all. Ether will avail you naught. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. Sure. Okay. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Does she not believe? Is what I might have said once. Wait! So she doesn't believe it now? Alize? Hello? After everything I've seen, all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear. I can no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. But are we truly so powerless that our only choice is to flee? Far from it, my child. Okay. Meaning? Long ago, the inhabitants of myriad stars Many more prosperous than the Theris sought to free their worlds from life's woes. All right. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being and can never be cast out. Neither reason nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. To live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose and hope. As you have done so many times before. Thou dost pursue an impossible dream. Yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless. And thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. 
Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. Oh, his gasp. For sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. Is he gonna smile? As witness no. to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. Oh. Everyone gets a life summary. And thou, my champion. When all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. I am the champion. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approacheth, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power. The strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. So there's a chance. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Okay, and how do we do that? Hark! Are we gonna fight her? Nigh impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. Uh-oh. As the will of the star, I ask you Hark to what? <laughs> Do you possess the fortitude to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself. Yes. Yes, I do. Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. Okay. You must leave this star and never return. Do, 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 do. Prepare yourselves. Okay. Prove ourselves worthy, eh? Sounds straightforward enough. Aye. No room for confusion there. In any case, we've come too far to back down now. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. Cards! The three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. Not quite every day. Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Everyone's getting ready. Let's go. For the people of this world and those beyond the rift. Mm hmm. Alas, the question I posed to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. 
I would hear thy response, warrior of light, shouldst thou emerge victorious. Okay, so I'm going to answer the question. If we win. If we win this fight. Oh. Okay. During this quest that we're using to support system, you have the opportunity to undertake this trial with a part of science. Some of these allies are also different from those you're normally able to select. In addition, you may now enter the at the scope with a... Oh yeah, that's fine. That's a dungeon. Okay. So. Yeah, we all know the answer to life and everything is 42. Uh, but yeah, so should we do the trial? I'm assuming this is a trial. Um, with the science? Or do I invite you guys? Trust? Science? Try okay. Seems like it's pretty... Unanimous vote there. Trust first time, hundred percent. Wait, is it the first time we we can do a trust with a um, in a trial? Cool. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um. I need to play keyboard for this. All right, let's go. I hope you remember all the mechanics from last time. Uh, kind of, I think. But I think I wiped like three times to that, so it's not looking good. The mother crystal. Actually, I think I died like five times. No, don't skip. I, BGM. My kind, shall test Is this too loud? Prove thy work. Compared to the dialogue, I mean. Cause I don't want it to like drown the dialogue. It's good, okay. Have you the strength of will to alter man's fate? Make ready. A change of arms. May the test continue. Back you now. We're near or far. Okay, it's a lot of damage. It's actually a lot of damage. And now this. It looks like I actually took damage from that. I don't know what happened. Light unyielding. <gasps> I mean, I stood next to Alfie. Why was it a problem for me? Hold still. You underestimate me. By blade! I will not okay. hold back. Something special for you. My hold time. still. I get rid of my stacks, this is not good. We got rid of stacks. We're good now. Hold 
still. Try and stop me. Hold still. Of light. To me. What? Crystals. What is she planning? It's a good question. The elements in perfect alignment. High concentration of ether. Here. The song of creation's end. Feel. The sorrow and hope's demise. Hold still. Think. Think. And find your way in the darkness. You cannot stop us. Okay. It's fine to be on this side, right? Surely. Yeah, okay. Why did they all go to the other side? <laughs> it was a longer run. This will hurt. This will Follow hurt. your light. Or fly, my children, and follow never my look light. Back. Brace yourselves, okay. Oh, we're back here. Do we need to get out of this? No. By crystal's light. I guess not. Oh, that was limit break? <laughs> the blue circle? <laughs> I was like, there's a circle here, let's move out of it. We're near or far. You underestimate me. Thancred molding? Wait, why is Thancred molding? Was it his limit break? And what does it do? Well, Okay, it's fine, we got this. You're mine. By blaze. Oh no. Ah, I'm so dead. Heal me somebody. Huh? A threat attack by virtue of what? I don't know what that was, but I survived because of okay. something. Do they give us one cheat death? Is that why? You have two lives? Okay, the healers suck. I'm gonna start healing myself. A 
Allow me. Okay, nice. My turn. What are those? Okay. Light on yielding. <gasps> this is not over. I will not hold back. Try and stop me. This is not good. I died to the same mechanic. You underestimate me. And I have no lives remaining. I just realized, I guess because I hit level 90, I have one more step in my melee combo. So I finally have the feather ability. I noticed. I'm healing myself. You cannot stop us. Oh no, I accidentally used my swift cast. I should have saved it for when I need to heal. Got this. You cannot stop us. I have you. happening in that combo like because we get so low and then we have the aoe thing around us how does that part work it's because i wasn't far away from her to get out of center Look at the icons around her. I can't believe I just had a 1% wipe. Okay. I wasn't ready for it. I was like, she's dead now. So I, I, I stopped like worrying about healing. Classic 0 out of 3 fish gameplay. Excuse me, this has nothing to do with the fish, okay? So where are the colors are you talking about? Change of arms. May the test continue. What, where is the color? Is there a color right now? Together we shall overcome this. This? That, that was red? Near or far. I just took damage from that. 
You underestimate me. This will hurt. And now this. You're mine. Hold still. Dawn mantle. Is it that? Green. And what is green? Light on yielding. Wait, what does green mean? I didn't see anything. Green is move away from boss. I will not hold back. And blue? Also move away? Oh, uh, blue is like the cross. Okay. You might. So green is to move away. Light on yielding. How is it took damage from that? Okay. So that's what happened to me three times. I got hit by that ability, followed up by the AOE uh, little don't stack symbols. That's crazy. By Crystals of light. To me. Yeah, since Alfie's a shit healer, he couldn't heal you back up. Like, why not? One heal! Press one button. Here. To be honest, like, I was getting ready to heal myself. But then I kind of just the forgot. Because I thought it was over. Heal. The sorrow and hope's demise. Think. And find your way in the darkness. You can hold still. Stop us. Together we shall overcome this. I don't know why they go the long way. Like guys, you could have just stood here. Something special for you. Something special for you. Oh, that's the mimic you said, right? Light. I just try to move out of it again. Yeah, that's the combo! That's the combo I've been dying to! Unbelievable. Something special for you. Revulgence eternal. My turn. There. I got hit by that thing. Oh, I didn't? Okay. I that's nice. You're mine! Yeah. 
Okay, we have this ability, Scorch, into this ability. I have the full combo now. And red is close, right? But wait. Oh, it's so awkward. It's fine. I didn't take too much damage. What? Wait, how did I take so much damage from it? My health was pretty high. Where high or low? Was that? Got a sack, not good. Blue, it's the cross. By blade. I'm not I'm not taking the damage, you take it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not stacking for that. <laughs> okay. Uh alright. Now I just need to not take any damage for 40 seconds. Succumb not to fear. It'll be fine. Why oh, am I taking so much damage? Healers! Hold still. Okay. Okay, this is fine. I have two stacks. Can I survive this? Oh yeah, yeah, it was fine. Where is it? Yeah, it's fine. Whew. Dawn Mantle is... What color is it? Green. I'm out. Light on you! I think I messed up my melee combo because nothing happened. I didn't do a combo. Crystallize. Okay, and now it's what color? Red. We're near or far. Whew. Okay, we did it. I'm healing myself. See that? Please don't let me die. I mean, I, I didn't see the blue. I was blind. We did it. We did it. NPCs were about to vote kick any. No, they were not. What the hell? She proud of us, you think? At last, man has the strength to. First try. 
I mean, first try and I was like 1% away. It was actually not a bad first try, but yeah. 1% does not mean defeating, so. Uh, is this it? There's no loot for this one? Oh my god, what if I lost loot? My inventory's full. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, it's okay. No loot in normal trials? Okay, good, good. So I didn't lose anything. No, this can't be happening. Oh, need to press. Oh, there might have been a TT card. I missed it in that case. <sighs> Though my power is in constant flux, I have always kept a reserve for this very moment. It was a true test of your prowess. You have done well. Ah, oh, mommy's proud of us. There is one thing I must ask. By yeah. sundering the world into 14 shards, the ether of all living beings, too, was divided. This reduction would, in theory, allow us to more easily interact with Dynamis. True. Having seen mankind brought to the very precipice of extinction, you wished for us to develop a means to overcome despair. You believed we had the potential and sundered all creation to see it fulfilled. To deliver us to that swirling maelstrom of dynamis in which our foe hides and grant us the power to defeat her once and for all is this not true hmm is stolen breaking it all down it is as thou sayest Twas the trial to which i subjected mankind and it hath led to untold bloodshed and suffering there was no kindness, nor justice in the tragedy I wrought. When confronted with the almighty Zodiac, my only recourse was rend him and the world asunder, that his power be diminished for a time. And so it came to pass. Now you, my chosen, have surpassed my expectations surpassed me I entrust the fate of the universe unto you damn we outgrew her this crystal contains the memory <gasps> of Meteon's passage through the stars holy okay deliver it unto the Loperets they will guide you to her Oh, damn. Though they may be capable of crossing great distances, there is a vast difference between traveling to the moon and the furthermost reaches of the great expanse. Yeah, it's true. It's and probably really Meteon, far. We cannot simply soar on waves of dynamis to our destination. Indeed. To make such a journey would require an astronomical amount of ether. Hmm. But a solution lieth close at hand. Really? Of course. Wait, of course? Yes, my child. Wait, this is what we hear when we start the game for the first time, isn't it? Ever since I became the will of the star, the ether drawn here had slowly crystallized. Ah. They who have answered my call know it well. 
While I have remained hidden, it hath become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. <gasps> no! The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. A faceless, omnipotent force of nature. Ugh! I, my, my, my thumb twitched and I clicked, but I didn't mean to. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Let's restart the whole game. So we don't miss that one line. Let's restart from the beginning. <laughs> the Mother Crystal. Alas, I can do no more. The fulfillment of this task doth fall to you, my chosen. My chosen. Also, if we restart from the beginning, we will actually see the same scene, kind of. <laughs> We're back to the crystal. <laughs> now, heed these words. Oh. Darkness and light, despair and hope, as go with one. So go with the other. Become light. Become hope. Yep. I have a gift for thee. Oh. Come closer. <gasps> okay. Long have I searched for a means to safeguard the future of this star. Though I knew failure after failure, by recalling thy tales and my promise to thee, I found the strength to carry on. Though the world is ever changing, thy thirst for adventure hath never waned. Thine unshakable resolve never ceases to amaze, to inspire. Good song. Piano time. <laughs> Chat, I never realized you guys are so good at playing the piano. Did you turn up the volume? Um, I did at the beginning of the cutscene. As a mark of my gratitude, I bestow this final gift. Final gift. Thou dost possess the crystal of Azam, yes? Yes. As Hydaelyn, I reside over the forces of stasis, tranquility, peace. The okay, the song is a little bit too much in this moment here. It's a bit too much. Okay, music, calm down. A little bit. <laughs> so I can hear her. Okay. Voices on top of voices. <laughs> It's such a weird situation here because it's like I want to hear her. I need to turn down the music, but I listen to the music and the music sounds good. So now it's like, ugh, like they're both good, but I don't want them at the same time. Try twenty-five. Ah, it's calming down. This type of music, I think, is okay because. Yeah, this is okay. 
Finish song, then finish plot. <laughs> Just ask Hyla to send an email <laughs> about the music. All right, I think we can go. I will weave this self same power into the crystal, granting thee mastery over matter to give form to the formless. We use it wisely. Or it will not last indefinitely. Give form to the formless? What does that mean? I can I can reset quick. Character was a little bit of desync. This should be better now. And before the song loops one hour and we're gonna be here. <laughs> I'll turn it down a little bit. I think it's a little bit too distracting with the with the di dialogue. Alright. Let's go. As thou hast seen on thy journey through the ethereal sea, souls are drawn to thee. Mayhap this trait will prove to be a boon rather than a hindrance. Okay. It is thy hopes and prayers that enable Asm's invocations and give them life. So keep them close. But pray, remember this. When the way forward is hidden, even from the mind's eye, look not to the invocation, but within yourself. These were the words of the crystal's original bearer. The crystal's original bearer. Damn. With that, my work is finished. Fulfill our promise. Right the wrongs committed when the world was yet But well, she's not gonna be gone, is she? Silence the song of oblivion. Teach her a brighter melody. Show her our journey is far from over. We will find our way, Vinat. They just kill her in battle. No, that was a duel. That was not actually killing. No, 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 no. She's not gone. She's not gone. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, we did not kill her. She lives if you get two out of three fish. No, this is not true. No. 
I don't believe it. My controller is not working. Is the game frozen? Oh, the game is frozen. Final Fantasy XIV is not responding. The game crashed! <laughs> the game crashed! It's like, wait, no hiding, we're out of here. Oh, we're back, I think. We're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, okay. We're back. Okay. But I, I, I refuse to believe that, though. It's like, that was my first meeting with her, admitting that she... Well, not admitting, but like, realizing... She's, um spent time with me in the past you know we're actually like besties <sighs> game does not get frozen if not zero out of three fish you have met her before well like um it's the first time that we met with our past official you know what i mean No, I did not kill her! You acknowledge that with the Vanata that, that uh, I know, I know. Wait, is that true? If you don't call out the Vanat, she if she wouldn't have a tear? Really? I have the most insane goosebumps right now. Holy crap, I got the good ending. Damn. Oh, I had to watch it. Oh, did she say thank you, Heidelin? You call that good ending? Well, yeah. How's making people tear up good, lol? Because uh, it's a bittersweet thing. It's like... We spent some time together in the past. For her, it's an even longer past, you know? So it's, um... Yeah, it's a bittersweet thing. Yeah, it's tears of... It's not pure happiness either. It's like a mixture of emotions. But there's happiness too, you know? It's like an old friend remembering your name. Yeah, or like reminding you of something that you guys did in your childhood, you know? Color hand is kind of cold. Yeah, it's like, let's say you're an adult at this point and let's say you're like a professor in something and then you meet a childhood friend and the childhood friend just calls you professor. But instead, the, child, the childhood friend maybe calls you something like uh, from your childhood, you know? Yeah, like a nostalgia, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely meaningful dialogue choice. Like, of course, I would 100% pick mentioning Venat. Like what we call you small? No, that is not nostalgic or bringing tears to my face. Yeah, maybe some tears out of out of uh, uh, pure sadness and disappointment. <laughs> okay? Nothing else. Also call back to Elpis when she told you should be glad to return to planet if she knew humanity had found her, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the entire thing is a call back to Elpis of when we met, right? Because I finally know that we met. Looking beyond the goddess and seeing the person, yeah.
Remind me 50 years called any small. Okay, in 50 years, if somebody did that, it would probably, probably be nostalgic. <laughs> but that's in 50 years, not now. Oops, don't, no. Was it 10,000 years? Neo Satori, thank you so much for the 20 month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn. I'm glad to see you well. Though we could roughly place your souls as deep as you went, we could neither see nor hear you. The fluctuations in the ether near the end gave me quite a fright. What in the world happened? Anyway, I'm gonna get a paid. Why would you get paid? You mean to say Heidelin is... Is... Oh, no, she's not! Stop saying that! No, there's no time to feel our feelings. We must carry out Heidelin's will without delay. We'll find Meteon if it's the last thing we do. If you wouldn't mind handing over the crystal, that is. The fancy navigatory one. The GPS crystal. Mark To the edge of the universe, where congregates the despair of countless stars, you are determined to see this through? We are. Should words fail us, we will fight. To the bitter end. I know that it pains you to accept this. Would that I need ask nothing more of you. Yet we have only two means to travel to the great expanse, the moon and Charlene's Arc. I am all too aware that without both of them, there will be no exodus. But I nevertheless beg you to honor the agreement we made. The forum's decision will be honored. You have earned the right to use the ship as you see fit, and I could not rescind it even if I wanted to. As it happens, I do not, and would do all within my power to aid your cause. He's supporting us! Finally! Finally, Dad has some supportive words! With that settled, might I suggest you rest a while? Proving oneself to Hyden is never easy, and despite our unparalleled genius, we'll need a day to make the necessary calculations. You may as well take advantage of it. You can chart a course through the Sea of Stars in a single day? Ye gods. Shall we head above ground for some fresh air then? And perhaps a nap. Time to become napping way. Was reset four or five, by the way? Level 89. I think Pictomaster was 88. Yeah, so I can't hand it in. 47 minutes? Okay. Expecting you. 
Heard about your foray into the Theral Sea? The students have ventured far and wide, but never quite so deep as that. Are you experiencing any after effects from a prolonged exposure? Nausea? Dizziness? Hauntings? Well, have a pleasant sleep, and if you do experience any unusual phenomena, please let me know. I shall add it to our, I shall add it to our records. you are. Hmm? Some time, indeed. Yes. For you, at least. Believe me, I'd meant to get some yet proper sleep. But here we are, drifting along instead. Well, well, you too. And so we remain to watch and wonder. <laughs> yes, indeed. To begin, we first must see the end. To begin, we must see the end. Walk the end. Well, that was a pleasant dream. Felt like I was drowning in water. And walking, yes, and walking. My controller is not working again. There we go, okay. All right, we'll we're still in level 89. Still in level 89. A bold decision. Annie, I trust you've had a good rest. An envoy, an envoy, envoy of Master Fortunals arrived not long ago with a message. The Lopritz have determined Meteon's location. They found her! We've been asked to gather at the Rostra. I'll meet you there along with the others. It's happening. It's actually happening. Oh, let's use a Mender. Repair all. Repair all. There we go. Um, is there an actual in here? It's an item and you need 50. Oh, oh, you need to collect like multiple items. Kill says fills a bar for people which gives damage HP healing buffs and winning fight snowball. Oh. Blue one gains red first fight, so they had advantage over everyone else. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we're resuming in Miss Q. Let's go. Everyone appears to be present and accounted for. Good. 
As you know, the Lopperids have deduced the whereabouts of Meteon by means of a crystal bequeathed to us by Hydlin herself. That's crazy. Your quarry's location is a place far beyond the moon, in the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, at the edge of creation. A veritable Ultima Thule. Is that the name of the place? Indeed. How then are we to reach it? An excellent question. Lucky for you, I have an equally excellent answer. In theory, with its advanced propulsion systems, the moon is capable of delivering you to Ultima Thule, but the myriad other facilities housed within would greatly impede travel through the Sea of Stars. Even the Mother Crystal may not possess ether enough to bear so massive a vessel to our destination and back. However, if we integrate our hyperhopper into your ether burner, we should be able to fire things up and jump our way to the end of the universe in no time. Ooh. Father, does this mean... What does it mean? Bear in mind this decision was not made solely at my discretion, but with the consent of the forum. Hearing the Lopret's proposal, the forum was faced with a grave decision. To commit the Ark to this endeavor would mean abandoning both our plans to evacuate to the moon and to resettle on another star. Oh, needless to say, the proposition invited fierce debate. In the end, however, the forum was swayed by the simple fact that Hylan believed you possessed the strength needed to overcome this crisis. The Great Exodus was, after all, a plan of Hydman's own making. Therefore, if in the eleventh hour she would proffer another means by which we may seek salvation, we would be fools to dismiss it out of hand. Indeed, she sacrificed everything, her very existence, to avert the destruction of the star. That is why we have chosen to place our faith in Hydlin, in you. The Ark will be made ready for your voyage to Ultima Thule. What of all the people that have labored so tirelessly to prepare for the evacuation? They must be furious. I would not be so sure. They have not forgotten your deeds on the bank of glaciers, nor did your instrumental role in orchestrating the, orchestrating the delivery of adamantite go unnoticed. No, the people do not protest. Quite the contrary. They have expressed unwavering support for you and your mission. Are the Laporte too willing to abandon the Exodus? Were you not listening when we said we were born of Hyden's love for Aetherius and his people? It, if it means your survival, we would do anything to help. And you'll most certainly have need of our expertise where you're going. There's no guarantee Ultima Thule is a place that supports life, and otherwise vexing problem our know-how can remedy. Besides, Hyden chose us to lead the way to the Meteon. To lead the way to Meteon. Why else would she give you a crystal only we can decipher? But more importantly, we were perfectly content to evacuate the theories until you brought us here, you ranger. And now we're enamored with the place, so what choice do we have but to save it? Such cuties. Or cutie. Such a cutie. Of course, none of this is possible without you and the science, so I must ask. Are you certain you wish to do this? Chat, are you certain of this plan? Are we feeling confident? Is this the way to go? No, 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 no. Wait, should we cancel in that case? Is it time to cancel? Maybe zero out of three? What does zero out of three have to do with anything? Nope, get me to the moon and out of here. Is that the final vote? Get to the moon? Back to ARR, just restart everything. That is one way to meet the crystal again. The mother crystal. What is our what is our answer? Deep thinking. Deep thinking. You couldn't stop us if you tried. We'll avert the final days. Whatever it takes. Well, we've come this far. Chat, which one is it? One, two, or three? You failed the most important quest, zero out of three. How can we put trust? How can we trust you to not fail this one? We're not gonna fail anything. One, three, two, three, 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 zero, three. 
Are you saying three because of their zero three? And so one is hilarious from Alala. You couldn't stop us if you tried. Why is that hilarious? Racist. Let's go. Very well. We shall inform the form of your decision and begin preparations to bolster the Ark with the uh, Hyper Hopper. The Lopperts will coordinate with the Ilzabar contingent to have the necessary components transported via the Tower of Babil. Of course, it will take time until the work is complete. For now, pray take your ease. Alright. So it seems there is not to do but rest and prepare. Shall we? Puts finger on head to stop her. Finger on head is not gonna stop me at all. At all. Rest and prepare, yeah. Sleep time. Ere we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quiet, though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare to brave a domain where a dynamis governs all. Nevertheless, Hyden deemed us worthy of the trials that await. For lack of any other feasible options at this late stage, let us trust in her judgment and face Beteon as we are. Which leaves the not-so-small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and Tataru. If all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. I certainly hope so. We'll be praying for your safe return. Mayhap it'll affect the dynamis for the better. With that settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we've been afforded. Hmm? The meeting's over, is it? The meeting's over, is it? You were in there for so long, I started to worry. What do they have to say? The edge of creation. I see. Rest assured everything will remain in order until you return. And you will return. Actually, Annie, could I borrow you for a moment? Looks like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at the Beldesian Annex, alright? F you, Tataru. Excuse me, Tebex, do you want to get banned? Tataru's best girl. Tataru, please F off. Jeff, could you want to get banned too? And you know you guys will get a prison room each. You're not going to be together. You're going to be alone. Unbelievable. Come with me to the Agora. I have something to show you. Let's go with her. People hate Tataru. It's unbelievable. If Tataru would try the fishing quest, she would sell everything. Because she's great. Welcome, Annie, to Tataru Taru's boutique. I've always done my best to provide a science with fashionable attire, but in your case specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one could ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. I mean, true, we are. 
Faced with this unprecedented crisis, I knew you'd need an ensemble unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do it alone. And so, after enlisting the aid of the world's finest artisans, I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. New drip? But then inspiration struck and I saw a golden opportunity just begging to be seized. With the help of the Thavnerian refugees, I decided to set up shop here in Charleon. Of course, I would never charge you for any of our work, perish the thought. Voice are rude, how are things coming along? Everything is in order, Mistress Tataru. We'll be ready to open shortly. So she's opening a store. Which is why I brought you here, to be our very first patron. Would you mind waiting here a moment longer? Okay. Sure, let's do it. Now you to choose between three clothes. Have fun for the next four hours. Wait, are you, are you kidding me? I have to make a decision? Do I see them beforehand at least? <sighs> ah, I did not expect to find you here. I imagine Itana would also wish to offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon scales to the engineers, she remained to assist with her work with their work on the ether burner. This this simulacrum too will stay in Charleon, while I oversee matters in Razaton. It is a rather convenient means to keep abreast of developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Bashan, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work with me here at the boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have blessed them with newfound purpose and the means by which to support themselves in these troubled times. What's more, when they at last return home to Razatan, the experience and knowledge they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artistry and commerce of our land. In fact, I came here to see how your new employees are settling in and to express my gratitude for granting them this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well, believe you me. Your artisans have taught me so much about Thevnerian craftsmanship. Their resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of inspiring. I can't wait to see what kind of wonders we come up with. I pray you every success in your endeavors, Mr. Sotaru. Before coming here, I heard word of the forum's decision, of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, for the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of bringing life must have been blinding in its splendor. The, your journey unto the heavens to protect that light. May the scales of my kin serve you well. I have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to the star. Would that Ahaya one were alive to see it? Yeah, no. I should like to visit Ratsata again when this is all over. I worry your faith in me may be misplaced. No, let's not say that. Let's say the first one. I will not see his sacrifice squandered, nor shall I rest until Ratsatan is returned to its former glory. Yep, we nodded. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well and remember, the people of the star have not yet given up hope, and neither must you. Yep, yep, yep. Lala Pyramid Scheme? Excuse me? No. What the hell? Did we get other guests here too? Ugh. Where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? The wasteland of taste. Who's this? Oh? Did he always have a taste for food? Any old girl. What do you mean old girl? 
My wait, I think I remember him saying that in the past too. He always called us old. My, whatever are you doing here? A new boutique, you say? Hmm, I had been meaning to expand my wardrobe. Yes, something with a little more flair, perhaps, befitting a man of my station. What was a stature? No, it is station. Okay. Though I have nowhere to flaunt said raiment, so as long as my confinement continues indefinitely, I, the young Lord Fortemps, insist that so long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charleon. Thus do I toil, though every fibre of my being rails against it. Why, I have suffered the company of that brute Sickard to see supplies transported in a timely fashion. Yet he was the one granted leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for this otherwise welcome absence, now burdened with extra busy work. And without Honorroyd here, there is no one to prepare my meals. I came here in the hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the Charleon delicacies I've sampled were lacking in every respect. Have you tried Archon Loaf? You can find it in all the shops. Isn't Archon Loaf bad? If I already miss what you're after, I suggest the last stand. But let's suggest Archon Loaf. Archon Loaf? It sounds sophisticated, like me. I thank you for the suggestion. With a full belly, I dare say I can endure this purgatory if only a while longer. Ta-ta, old girl. More the relationship is old. Known each other for a long time. Oh, it's like an old English saying. Well, good luck having that bread, which I think is not considered very nice. Well, well, is that Enya Tataru I spy? Oh. Hello. Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all, any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what matter of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the northern seas? Worry not, I will return straightways to Kugana once I have finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me, the industrious woman running a new boutique. I am not blind to the travels of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. He believes in us from the front lines. Indeed, I have every confidence they'll succeed, and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe in them so devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Tataru, fair enough. There is not more I can do to help ready the Ark and, he and her heroes for their maiden voyage, but on your return, I shall host a grand celebration in your honor at the Bokaira Inn. Accommodations are quite costly, given the reputation of said establishment, but the East Aldenar Trading Company would be honored to foot the bill. Pretty suggestion, but no thank you. Will there be lemon cakes? Oh ho, a woman of tart tastes. I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes and such, and much more. The finest delicacies the world and Lord Lolorito have to offer. Okay. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more of Tataru's ire. Until next we meet. Lemon cakes equals sold, yeah. He called you a tart burn? Uh, he called you a tart to burn him. What is a tart anyways? Hi, Annie. What's up, David in Cha-Cha? Ah, Annie, you decided to spend your time at the markets, did you? The size difference. <laughs> Hello! Huh, Tataru! Biggs and Wedge, I take your work on the arc proceeds apace. 
Arya does indeed. Collaborating with the greatest minds of Charlyon and Razaton has been a rewarding experience. And that's to say nothing of what we've learned from the Laporites. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure to work on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on more than one occasion. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm excited too. And you'll never guess who paid us a visit before we came to Charlyon. Alpha. I think he sensed the coming danger and returned to check on us. Aww. I was always one to turn up in a time of need, and I suppose that's why he decided to join us here in Charleon. Good thing, too. I don't know how he does it, but he has a knack for brightening your day just by being there. It's like having a pet. Que. It's still hard to believe we have the means to send you off into the Great Expanse, though. To the farthest known reaches of... well, everything. Never thought I'd live to see such marvels, yet here I am. More often than not, you and the science are the catalyst that sparks the need for those great inv... inv for these great innovations. Do you think how much I'd be missed out on had? Do you think how much I'd have missed I'd have missed out on had I not been a member of the Ironworks? An awful lot of work to be fair, and the privilege of being worked like a cart chocobo. Mumble mumble. Huh, there is that too. As busy as we've been, I wish there was more we could do for you, Annie. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. That we do, my friend, that we do. One filled with even more adventure. Let's go for the first one. Yeah! When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? That's very kind of you, Tataru. They'll be glad to hear it. And on that note, Wedge and I should get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. Few more supplies. Mumble, mumble. Yeah, they're like mumble, mumble. Hmm. He stuck around a little bit longer, just to stare into the eyes of Tataru. Terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please. Do, 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 do. Am I going to get free stuff or are we working to pay it? Wait, what? To pay what? What free stuff? Do, 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 do. It's a lot to read. Thanks for the dedication. Of course. Right. I don't believe the two of you have been formally introduced. This is Varsa Rude from Palika Stand. I thought I've met her. Maybe not. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, haven't we met before? No? Ah, yes, it was you who helped us at Perusa, and again when crossing the ice fields, was it not? Yeah, that was me. I doubt we changed, exchanged a little more than glances then, but it's kind of you to remember me. Oh, okay, we didn't actually talk. I just remembered her because, um, her aesthetics. Like the dragon, purple hair. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Mr. Tataru, I had, and uh, I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It is only natural to feel fear in the face of calamity. In such times, we must look to another one for strength and succor. I know not whether we'll come to call this place home or return to Thavnir, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. And contribute they did by helping to make your new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them and I have every confidence they'll be they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. Maybe a bit safer than my thin white dress. Gods, to think how far we've come since our humble beginnings at the waking sands. From the rising stones to the falling snows snows, and even a certain insufferable someone's ruby bazaar. We were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were swept away to the first, Grahatia was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. You see that, chat? She is so wholesome. This is why we like Tataru. Yours has been a long, long journey, and I've been pri privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you persevered time and again. For all the joy you've shared, there's been much sorrows as well, but I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. Very mature, too. Which is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. 
and you can be certain I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. Okay. She's plotting. Wait, what? No, she's not, or I'm not. Whoever you meant with she. In addition to your new ensemble, we have raiments and weaponry for every need, so please feel free to browse our stock. You may now obtain job-specific gear from Russia. The weapons and gear obtained can be equipped at level 89. However, all item stats will be subject to item levels that sync. Upon reaching level 90 with the corresponding job, these items will no longer be synced. Furthermore, the gear can be dyed upon completion of the role quest associated with said job. Okay. Did I get it already? No. I don't think so. Quick, quick break. Uh, let's see. Talk to the merchant. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. But yeah, let me be right back real quick. 